Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West, where for the first time in a long time, I am recording consecutive episodes. Wowza, let's go! <laughs> Sorry, you know. Oh, man. I just started reading a really fascinating book yesterday about forensic archaeology, and it's just, it's just fascinating. I keep thinking about it. Another maze. Now! But the road to truth is never a straight line. You're right. You're so right, bestie. Neither is the road to loot, honestly. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have so much money after this. This is great. There has to be an exit somewhere. I hope anyway. I hope it'll be great. I hope I can get some cool armor. To be fair, I'm mostly for armor. I mean, money's a big factor. Uh, but I also so need the parts. The metal flowers, what the data referred to as adamantine wreaths. They were supposed to stop the destruction that caused the Time of Ashes? Looks like it. I guess something went wrong. Well, they at least themselves can... be not munched on, I guess. Oh, That looks more like... Yes, okay, I was like, that looks more like a place... Uh, my, my gamer instincts were correct. That looks... That right passageway looked more like where we were gonna have to go for the main quest. And this pipe it looks like it goes all the way to the surface. Well, I think we're under the proving the grounds. The proving grounds? Maybe it connects the rig to the tower. Best not to linger here the long. The proving grounds? I knew there was a proving grounds close by, but I don't think I've. I've triggered it. Oh, that's where I need to be. Sorry, I was like, I was busy looking over here. My stash. I haven't cleared this area because I haven't been there on the surface. That makes sense. Oh my gosh, that's the. Oh, that's another cauldron. It's probably really hard. I was over there. Is that a ruin, maybe? I think I was close enough to trigger this, but. Anyway, distracted. I was just like, what do you mean? Oh, maybe this is like an arena kind of an area? Is that why? And then there's, there's like a water one. Right there. That would be interesting. If you have to have like a water-based stuff. Water-based fighting, proving, proving battle stuff. Yeah, this is uncomfy. This Let me tell you, though, the cave I went into the other day, super cool, but it, um... It just caves just look fake to me. They look I guess maybe I've spent too much time in video game caves so and not real caves. I never asked. Are you from around here? No. I'm not. I um spent most of my life in a place far in the east. Oh, we've both traveled a long way then. You alright there? <laughs> okay. Stretching your back out? You alright? I'm worried to move too far ahead whenever they start conversing. Old Bioware habit. Or if you go too far, sometimes you'll miss out on dialogue. Happens in this game, too. <sighs> Cold and damp down here. She does seem like the type who doesn't do well with silence, that she has to, like, fill, fill silence with, like, inane conversation. And Aloy is... Aloy is used to filling the silence with her own asinine, inane conversations. What do you mean, this is it? Oh. I keep waiting for enemies, like, to pop up. Okay. Let's find a way like, to get into the proving ground. the other bad guys. The- not the Tanakhs, for some reason I keep waiting for the old bad guys from Horizon Zero Dawn to show up. Like, when you pop out and there's just a bunch of humans there being dumb. Getting in my way. Code fragment, aberrant code from. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. 
All right, I'll read it out loud. Then they lifted up their eyes as it grew lighter and beheld each other's aspects, saw and shrieked and died. Even of their mutual hideousness, they died, unknowing who he was upon whose brow famine had written fiend. The world was void, the populous and the powerful was a lump, seasonless, herbless, treeless, manless, lifeless, a lump of death, a chaos of hard clay. The rivers, lakes, and ocean all stood still, and nothing stirred within their silent depths. Sailors, ships, sailorless, lay rotting on the sea, and their masts fell down piecemeal. As they dropped, they slept on the abyss without a surge. The waves were dead, the tides were in their grave, the moon their mistress had expired before, the winds were withered in the stagnant air, and the clouds perished. Darkness had no need of aid from them. She was the universe. All right. It sounds like it's talking about the whole series of poems seem like they're connected and that they are speaking about the end of days, essentially. How lonely would it be to be, like, the last sort of sentient, like, just an artificial intelligence writing about the fall of that man? That complex should be testation You know? Well, let's hope it holds the answers we see. I feel like that would be very lonely. This looks like a battle arena. I know this is where we just saw the evil, gooey stuff, air stuff. There's definitely. F it's so. Yep. There's a fight. There's gonna be a fight here. Yeah. I don't like it. There's nowhere to hide. There's nowhere to be myself. There's nowhere to be a trapper. I hear it. Whatever that noise is. Oh, also the Dreadwing! We freaking- Whoa! Into Whoa, I knew, I knew it! I knew it! I was like, <laughs> I was like, the Dreadwing! We still- <laughs> I was just about to say it, but I looked over at my computer to make sure the recordings were working. I was like, we haven't seen hide nor- like, hide nor hair of that bat- that Dreadwing. And then it just dropped on me! <laughs> that was so scary. How am I supposed to find it? Okay, wait. My friend said that the first instance he fought a Dreadwing, there was like a little hill over which there was like some some gear to help you fight it or something. I don't know, I'm just gonna run around. We're gonna have to take it out to get into the test station. Oh. Maybe, maybe he was talking about a different yes. instance though. <laughs> Dang it, why do they keep forcing me into giant arenas? I realize that these things are here for me to blow up. Are you fire? Yeah. Uh, you can go invisible? Oh my gosh, that is unreal. Okay, he probably encountered the Dreadwing in the wilds. This is the first time I'm encountering one. And it's in the friggin', I don't know. New catalog. <laughs> New catalog entry. <laughs> I can't believe it just dropped on me. Look at that, though. We're only missing four. Oh, what are we missing? I'm so excited. Uh, it attacks include a large a range of disruptive status effects, making it a dangerous and tenacious enemy. <laughs> it's weak to fire. It makes sense why I have all these fire bellow bags. I thought this was thing was like a dragon. But it definitely is look like a giant bat, and that's what my friend said it was, too. Look at that! From biting attacks and disabled leeching attack- Oh my gosh. Okay... Uh -huh. A heavy what on its chest? Ah, uh, well, let's just aim for its chest to get rid of cloaking devices and shooty bang-bangs. Oh, also that. Let's get rid of that. Detection device? Well, it doesn't matter right now, but oh my gosh. I mean, it does. it is a bat echolocation. Okay, shoot for its... Chest. Oh my gosh, none of that now. Oh my gosh. Are you okay? Uh nope, that didn't work. It's coming apart! Ammunition! If you could give me 
Oh jeez. Oh jeez. If you could give me tear arrows, I would greatly appreciate it. I think I tore off one of its fangs. What? What is that? Ow! Oh my gosh! I can't. Why couldn't I get up? Holy moly! Look up. Dang it. What is it? What is that? What is that stuff that it's doing? I am gonna get just slammed. Look at that thing! That's amazing! Did I get it removed? Dang it. I don't know what I am removing exactly, but I am removing stuff at least, I guess. Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! Oh my gosh! Stop it! I hope it can't call reinforcements into here. Did I... what the heck? Stop doing that. Nope. Vertical shot traps. Yeah, I know, but... Oh my gosh, I almost got it. Okay, I need to switch to electric really fast to finish the... To finish... The stun. What is that? I don't know where it went. Okay. It's been stunned! Yeah. But over there, it's been stunned on the other side of the. Cool! Okay, let's see if we can put. Actually, stun it over here, maybe? Is it... If you make me redo all of it... Okay. Oh my gosh. I was really hoping to hang on. Okay. There. Listen, I'm trying to shock it. bow takes ages to load though um man i don't know i haven't really i've been using the oh yeah i've been using the tear to try to get that stupid stuff off its chest i don't know if i can while it's down oh, oh i did i oh my gosh i did craft it i just apparently didn't craft it all the way Potentially. Here we go. Oh, I did something. Oh, bad! I did something bad. To be fair, this has mo been mostly tear arrow damage, but let's try. Doing much to it. Did you run into it? Ooh. Okay, I should just use fire arrows on it. Oh, good. Oh my gosh! Is she using like plasma arrows? Oh, 
Oh, okay. Just gonna switch to ye old fashioned fire arrows, I guess. I do have that bow. Wherever it is. Yes. The pyre bow. Okay. Whoa, I don't know what exactly that killed it at the end, but uh, terrifying, but amazing. My uh well, you helped. We should be able to get into Testation Ivy now. I think it got dark really fast. <laughs> as like part of the quest, as part of the like story, I guess maybe, but Woo. That was cool though. That was cool. I did enjoy that fight. The metal fangs, we we shouldn't linger here. I know. There might be more machines. I, I'm, I'm fully aware, but also consider loot. Pick up sparkler. Oh my gosh, what goodies do you have for me? <gasps> A flower? It's carrying one of the metal flowers. Oh! Is that how they've been distributed? Oh! Airdrops from these machines? Interesting! Maybe I don't pick up metal flowers anymore the way I did in the old one in Horizon Zero Dawn, where I just go around picking them up. But, um, I freaking pick them up from Dreadwings. Maybe. Interesting. The, uh, was I using? They were advanced. Vertical shock traps. Okay, the two of them worked in a row because that's what I was trying to do was have it dive me But the first one wasn't enough to stop it. So the second one was hopefully enough and it got it did it did a good enough job It did enough damage There has to be some data towards here on the, the end wreath we can use I trust your focus will see what mine cannot. I thought I shared maybe I just shared the other data oh, with you That's interesting. Eh? Find something the fourth test station Willow it looks like it's under Whoa! Huh. That might be worth a look sometime. Heck yeah, it's gonna be worth a look. I saw that data entry thing over there. I just make sure. I must have faith. I walk with any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic, Arthur C. Clarke, but you are supposed to understand the trick once it is done. When the curtain pulls back to reveal the mirror, yet I still have no idea how we achieve this scientific a this act of scientific conjuring. It's not just the speed with which the projects have come together or the stability of the results, despite the complexity of the bioengineering. It isn't even the huge variety of crops that can now be made more heat, drought, and disease resistant. It is a simple fact that all these results are tangible. No announcements in scientific journals, no celebrating predictions born from simulations. Our research has become manifest in physical artifacts. Where a dream took root in an abandoned industrial site four years ago. Now there stands row upon row of automated FAS farming units, each of which can conduct gene manipulation in the field. The actual field. These robots analyze soil composition, light intensity, temperature, wind speed, and hundreds of other factors. Then, utilizing the gene sequences we created, they can select or construct a plant to produce the best yields for that location. This honestly sounds really depressing. Like, we actually read it in one of the, like, uh, bandit camps that, um... There was, like, a medical professional who, like, applied to, like, hundreds of jobs and still couldn't get a job because everything they could do was being done by robot, by automaton. And that's something that some people fear nowadays, and it seems like it's going to probably happen in some ways, is that uh, many of our jobs are going to be outsourced to robots, essentially, in some or, or, like, automation or, heaven forbid, AI, which I despise with a passion. Um, it's just, it takes away, like, the hum the humanity of, of an endeavor, you know, like, the creativity, you know, the, like, human perseverance, intelligence, like, audacity, you know? Instead, we're, like, putting all of it into, like, a mo emotionless 
creative list, just AI that like steals from a bunch of things humans have made and compiles it all together into something air quotes new. Like, I don't, that's AI, that's a whole other thing. But this sort of a thing, where like I'm looking at the soil composition, light intensity, temperature, these are things that soil scientists and like climate scientists do, you know? You're just gonna outsource all the things that they worked so hard on for to robots? Like, people are like, I don't know. Everyone's complaining about, not everyone, but many people, many, many aspects of the world are, are worried about or complaining about population fall. But, like, when you have stuff like this, like, what, you you know what I mean? Like, you're going to have too many people and not enough jobs. I don't know. Anyway, that's all somewhat speculative. Of course, all the crops these units create are best harvested by other FAS machines, but when our population is starving, what government is going to quibble about being forced to use our robots to speed things up? Uh, they are gonna quibble about that. Like, the, the, even the gathering is gonna be done by robots? Like, you're not giving anybody anything to do. Should I be uncomfortable watching Ted Farrell's coffers swell with money from the desperate and the starving? Maybe. But I know that it is that it is his belief, money that, that and drive, that has filled the world's empty stomachs. Desperation can only be experienced by the living, and we have given them back their lives. Of us, our work, Farrell's resources, science has triumphed. Together we have changed the world. You really got to do some summer, some brain somersaults to, what is it, like talk yourself into doing that you are doing actual good. And it, it is, like this kind of a thing where like you can make, you can make um, like starvation a thing of the past. That's great. But as we, as it is currently, and what little I know is like we could actually, like world, world hunger could be eradicated right now. Like first world countries create so much food surplus that if we could just get it out to people who need it, like we'd be fine. As it is, it just goes bad. You know, it costs more to like do charitable works to give the food away than it does to just let it rot. And it's just, that's frustrating. It's like all we need to do is like a, a, a correct dissemination of resources. You don't need robots to do that, you know? You don't need, I don't know. You need a lot of money, but. We shall find what we see. It's frustrating. Yeah, and I'm not, not an economics person. I prefer this console still operational. Ancient economics to modern ones, but you know, it's all relevant and important. Making sure I don't have any cool logs to read and be depressed about. I sure hope I get to buy some cool stuff with this. Another log. We're done in every way. The reeds work, oh. and cobble came through on a way to destroy them. Downloading a coded key into the deployment shell triggers an enzyme that causes the reeds to eat themselves from within. But it's too late. The latest projections from U.S. Robot Command have swarm reproduction, outpacing our ability to drop the shells by 375%. Not even close. So, all their efforts were in vain. They ran out of time. At least we have the software module they created. It should get rid of the vines produced by the metal flowers. I need a workbench to load the module onto my spear. There's one back at our camp. The map showed a path leading back there past the next How room. How convenient! Yeah, I don't know. Being the person who created the biomass stuff's gotta be... Like, part of it, right? There was a whole lot of people who helped make it. Right, being a part of that, being a part of the end of the world. Uh, it's gotta be... I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know if I could do it, you know? Like, live with myself for however long I had left, anyway, you know? I wonder, though, if that woman wouldn't have been a good idea to bring into the inner circle of, um... Freaking... Elizabeth Sobeck, just because, like having her expertise on things would be useful potentially for a way to like destroy stuff but yeah I don't know I don't think she deserves it kind of it doesn't seem like a bad person but like you know from Mar Jane's letter, it is with regret that I resign I, I share that regret Mar Jane you served as an excellent deputy 
but no single person is above the team or the project. I came to create life, not to destroy it. After all we've achieved together, I did not expect such lack of vision. Yes, our research has shifted direction, but biomass conversion. Oh, geez. Yeah, okay, here we go. I did not, this is, this is, this is, what's her name? Aquino, Tala Aquino, being like, I don't know why you don't want to help us with a biomass conversion project. Wow, I can't see how, why you would want to do that ethically. Yet yeah, a lack of vision is just, oh, that's such a trigger phrase, you know, or like some higher up is like, you have a lack of vision and you're like, I'm going to drop kick you down a well. You know what I mean? Like that just, you can justify so much with that phrase. Like, justify, air quotes. Yes, I reached a shift direction. The biomass conversion is no different than burning wood in a stove or distilling ethanol from molasses. It is a method to release solar energy that was captured organically. Yes, there are military applications for this technology, but does that, mean, that does not mean that there is a logical, moral argument against biomass conversion in itself. To say so is emotional petulance, plain and simple. Oh, you're just being too emotional about a biomass converter. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The saddest aspect of life right now is that science gathers knowledge faster than society gathers wisdom. Isaac Asimov. I don't think Isaac Asimov would agree with the biomass conversion thing. For Nafsi to end her letter with a quotation made it a direct attack. Childish, disappointing, personal. Any sadness I might have had about her departure left me in that moment. I wish her luck with whatever position she's able to find, but the greenhouse will continue on all the stronger now that it's freeze from such narrow thinking. I'll sum up with another quote, one better suited to this circumstance. Wow. If you, also, if you're the kind of person that throws quotes out, like, don't get me wrong, like, every now and then it's interesting stuff and it can be really applicable, but if you're constantly throwing quotes out in every email, that's gonna be so ivory tower you know what i mean like i get the i don't know like it's just also marjane nafisi might have actually been one of the people that was involved in um the horizon zero dawn project i can't remember but somebody resigning from this because of moral ethical implications who has some in insider info would be useful Nothing in life is to be feared, it's only to be understood. Now is the time to understand more so that we may fear less. Marie Curie. Let me throw a quote at you. They, your scientists, I'm, I'm, like, I'm going to butcher it, but your scientists uh, only thought about what they could do and what, nope, I'm not going to, let me, let me find it really quick. It's, you know what I'm talking about. It's the Jurassic Park quote. They spent so much time thinking if they could, what, but not if they should. Uh, there, I butchered it, but you know what I'm trying to say. Basically, it's just like, just because you can do it doesn't mean you should, you know, like, by a biomass conversion thing. Who looks at that? Like, you have to do some crazy mental gymnastics to, like, be like, no, no, this is morally good. This is morally going to help people. It has military implications. Yeah, it does! Looks like it's been flooded for a while. Jeez Louise. Military implications. Golly. I get that a lot of science is funded by military. We'll have to climb up. But jeez right Louise, to try to pretend that it's not going to be used in like a weaponized format. <laughs> We're just helping science. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna make lose it. We can use the line to get down. Do we get to go? S uh, right. Easy. You gonna, you gonna be all right. Oy. Do you have any more friends hanging out? Ah, made it. I'm proud of you. I still can't believe you took on all these soldiers by yourself. I mean, I am sneaky. But we'd better make haste. After we encountered barbarians, our lieutenant oh, called Oh, good. I knew it. They could be here anytime. Also, you guys should right. definitely set up somewhere and let me be friends with you and let me buy some armor from you. I do really want some. This is good uh, because this is going to let me craft ammo that I need. No! All right. Just did a bunch of upgrades and crafting. Oh, do I need any more? I can't make that. Can't make that. How exciting. Nope, I don't. don't 
Yeah. It's too bad I don't have a stash. Oh, is this my final one? Oh, I guess that makes sense, right? This is Demeter. Woo! Now I can finally get rid of that stupid vine stuff. Now what? Now, now we, we get to that data Now core. we run! Return to the data core. Okay. I will do that. Um, actually, I should probably call it here. Haha, -ha, a lot's happened. This one is taking a little longer to do, which is kind of nice, honestly. I feel like it should. But I don't like puzzles. I'm too impatient for puzzles. What is... Uh, metal flower? Is that where it wants me to go? Oh, it does. I'm blind. I was just looking at the metal flower part. Sweet! It gets you explode the metal flower and go to the data core. But we'll do that next time. Thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. To all my patrons, but to especially Risa Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. I very much appreciate it, and I hope you're enjoying the series. And yeah, thank you all again so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.